Hello everyone. Today we have with us Ms. Vaishnavi Kuna, who secured All India Rank 8 in the recently declared Engineering Service Exam 2022. So let us speak to Vaishnavi about the strategy she adopted uh, in achieving this particular success. Hi, Vasnavi. Congratulations to begin with. Please briefly about yourself. Hello, sir. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm Vaishnavi Kuna. I have uh, completed my B.Tech from NIT Varangal in 2019. And then I've worked for two years in Baker Hughes. And I took a break from my job in order to prepare for the engineering services. And I gave this, uh, in this year, 2022, my first attempt. So first attempt. It's a really great achievement. So even though she completed in 2019, but her because of her job, she could attempt for 22. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. So actually, when did you start your preparation? Honestly, whether you had any idea during your B.Tech itself? Yes, sir. so engineering services is my dad's dream. So I had this at the back of my mind that I wanted to clear ESC at some point in my life. So that's the reason I have taken electronics and communication branch. And uh, during the BTEC, I haven't started my preparation as such, but uh, I was uh, I was sincerely following all my BTEC subjects and uh, my basics were good enough. So a sweet gift to the father with <laughs> yes. love from Vaishnavi. <laughs> okay, Vaishnavi, uh, what is your preparation strategy for prelims exam? First, with respect to general studies and engineering aptitude. Yes, sir. So, uh, I was always uh, mo mainly focusing on GS path than aptitude. Aptitude, I was prepared for gates. So, I think I would be able yes. to do that. Fine. Good, good strategy. Yes. And uh, for GS, uh, whenever I was studying for technical and I feel bored or I thought I need to change the subjects in between, I used to go and read the GS theory books. So, that helped me a lot to... Um, get the grasp on the GS subject. Whether you have gone through all the 10 topics of GS? Yes, yes. I have uh, gone through all the 10 topics. Okay. What about the technical paper? 150 questions, 3 hours. Yes. So, the technical paper was a bit lengthy, but uh, it was uh, not very difficult. It was easy to solve. The only part was you, sh you should be able to read all the questions correctly. Uh -huh. Because in some questions, it will say, yeah. choose the incorrect option or yes. choose the correct option. Yes. Appropriate word. You yeah. Have to choose, right? So you should be able to read the question carefully before answering. Have you followed the questions in sequence or have you followed the questions subject wise, theoretical questions first, numerical questions next? What was your strategy? My strategy was um, I, I, I used to go serial wise. I read the questions. If I'm able to answer then and there, I uh, answer it. Else I circle it and come back to it later. Yeah. Okay. So that proved to be fruitful. Yeah, that was efficient. For me. Okay. What about the time management? Could you manage the time? Means 150 questions in three hours. So, uh, for the prelims, actually, I've taken the online test series. Yeah. There was no bubbling part in the online test series. Yeah. So, the time I estimated for bubbling in the actual exam was more than expected. Naturally. Yeah. Uh. So, that was a mistake from my side. So, I would suggest if you if you have a possibility, go for offline test series. Offline test because you will be in that management. environment and also you will know the time management. Uh, so, you could uh, complete the prelims. Yes. After writing the exam, are you confident of getting the means selection in prelims? So, after the exam, I didn't know, but after checking uh, my marks with the some of the institute's uh, yeah, key. key, I thought I would, I will not be able to clear the prelims. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, you cleared. Yeah, I did. Then, clear. Uh, I think two and a half to three months time was there for mains yes. exam. Yes. So, how you started your preparation for mm -hmm. mains exam? So, for mains, I concentrated mostly on the previous year questions. Because uh, the time was less, two and a half, two, three months. I started with previous year questions and I gave test series. I gave all the test series possible that I could give religiously. So I used to give the test series and once the key released, I used to go back, check my mistakes and see, even if I'm correct, I used to see if I can solve this any better in a shorter way. So 
less previous time. year questions conventional questions etc yes. so they are useful yeah they are definitely useful in guiding only or some of those questions may get repeated the concepts will definitely get repeated okay see uh, for engineering services if your basics are good then you will be able to clear easily mm. so once your basics are good and you go through the previous year questions you will know what kind of questions you will get and also some of the questions will repeat as well have you practiced this question come answer booklet the space given you have to fill your answer in the space given itself so that was where the test series came in yeah. picture so every week i used to give two test series wow. uh, saturday and sunday so that way the practice of writing improved and i also i could see the marks they were uh, kept increasing because in the starting uh, i didn't have complete time to complete the paper so slowly i was able to pick up my speed also the efficiency increase so by the time of exam i was sure i was i was confident that i will be able to do okay. it okay so after completing the mains exam i think you might have got some confidence yes, that you'll yes. get interview yes okay fine so the d day interview okay so how many members were there in the interview board the interview panel consisted of five members okay uh it was a tca anant uh, sir's panel uh -huh. one female four male people. how you greeted them so uh generally everyone go with uh, good morning or good afternoon mm. but since i am from the telugu state i wanted to start with the namaste namaste yeah okay. so i wanted to make a first good impression yeah. so that's why i practiced on that so it gave you a positive vibe i hope so <laughs> you hope so okay so how much time it lasted for the entire interview uh, my interview lasted around 25 to 30 minutes 25 to 30 whether they asked any questions on hobbies no sir they didn't ask any questions on hobbies so the general questions from my df were uh, related to work, work and my college so where you work and the college how they ask questions about college in the question so, about the college uh, where are you where did you yeah. study where are you from and yeah. all yeah nadi warangal you yes. said any uh -huh. questions they asked on warangal uh, no, no. nit that's a, just location no they didn't uh, go further they didn't go further because generally okay. they expected question yeah. everybody is going with the preparation yes, yes. so in the technical questions yes. what are the subjects in which they focused uh technical they try to cover almost all the subjects like advanced communication communication then electron basic electronics mm. signals and systems networks controls yeah they try to cover all the questions even they gave me a equation to write down and wow. solve so yes. they gave pen and paper yes yes so is there any relevance of the questions you said uh, communication advanced coming control with respect to this and the job you have done any correlation uh not exactly but uh, some part was related so oh, when okay. i said i worked in an oil and gas company and explained that i was uh, working on ic fabrication so they started from Naturally, that basic yes. electronics huh. they have started from that but later on uh, it continued to other topics as well okay so interview was successful okay yes. so what was your feeling after coming out of the hall after coming out of the hall i was very happy you are damn sure you are going to i felt this was my first uh, upsc interview so i was a little nervous uh. but after the interview i was very happy that it went well okay did you prepare any micro notes during your entire preparation micro notes no i haven't prepared any micro uh. notes what about solving the numerical questions without calculator what is the strategy you followed so there are some basic uh, while solving the questions you will know that there are some basic fractions or decimals or square root squares that you come across frequently uh -huh. like 1 by pi root pi and so on yeah, so standards. those values i used to remember i used to uh, make sure that i know them and also while solving the fractions i used to see uh, i used to check whether it's a uh, even when you are uh, what do we say solving. the solving the fractions i used to see which is the best method Nearest to move answer. forward yeah Yes, like terms. simplifying uh, rounding off and all yeah, i used yeah, to yeah. No. that comes through practice i yes, think yes, okay definitely. so anyway vaishnavi hmm? congratulations just what is your message to juniors who are aspiring for engineering service exam uh i would say if uh, engineering service examination is your passion then definitely go for it 
don't think about the vacancies don't think about the time it takes in order to achieve this it will be worth it if you really want and uh, when i was actually about the short notes i read in many of the topper stocks or uh, in quora and all that uh, sh making short notes is very necessary necessary yeah but so, you're not followed <laughs> no actually i didn't have time and time. i was actually worried that i didn't make the short notes acha so all i want to say is it doesn't mean that if one method worked for one it will work for everyone so uh, to each his own so see what works for you and then uh, work on follow that maybe you have made your short notes here <laughs> that may be the storage <laughs> space so anyway very happy but one general question on seeing the results see majority are from iits or nits or bits or premier organizations so now a student from a second tier or third tier rural colleges or private colleges they ha they are getting a doubt that this is not our cup of coffee <laughs> so what is your suggestion to them uh, can they yes yes sir definitely uh, everyone so can so what do strategy this. they should uh, i will say uh, focus on your basics basics are very important so if your basics are strong enough however they turn the question or whatever pattern they give you the question you will be able to solve so make sure that your basics are good even when you are starting from second year third year if you want to start the preparation start off immediately mm -hmm. and just go through your btech subjects be confident in that then even in the final year you will be able to attempt and secure this vaishnav well, no i i forgot to ask one question uh, you have taken postal coaching yes and also live batch mains coaching and also interview guidance uh, just uh, what is your experience with uh, the ace engineering academy faculty material etc so i have taken the main uh, postal coaching for uh, from ace academy it was very helpful because they have uh, chapter wise uh, questions and also the practical applications chapter wise so that was very helpful for the interview and also the mains and uh, also offline test series have given for mains yeah yeah what about the interview guidance uh, yeah so this uh, from the ace academy i have attended the offline interview that was very helpful because uh, i was able to build on some of the parts like uh, being confident and even if you are answering wrong just maintaining the same level of energy okay very good very good vaishnavi congratulations convey our regards to your parents okay sure, sure. god bless you nana god sir. bless you bye